Hello everyone. Further to the discussions we have had as a part of the growth mindset module, we thought of uh, having some fun interactive gameplay that will also help us understand different aspects of growth mindset. Towards this, we have a fun card game called the growth mindset card game. I'll now walk you through what this game is all about. All of you are familiar with the popular game Uno. For those who aren't, here is a small explanation. You have the regular set of cards in an Uno card game. The only difference is you will have four different card colors, each having card numbers from 0 to 9. The end objective of the Uno card game is to ensure that you empty all your cards from your hands. The first person to discard all the cards from their hands is the winner. So to begin the game, the cards are dealt, about five to six cards are dealt to each of the players. Each person starts discarding one one card each. The, the person to discard the next card looks into the card that has been previously discarded if there is either a color match or the number match, then they get to discard it. Else, they need to go to the uh, draw pile and draw one card and keep it in their hands. The people who are able to successfully discard, their card count reduces and they head towards victory. Whereas, if you end up drawing cards from the draw pile, you uh, your uh, victory gets delayed. So that is in a nutshell what the fun card game UNO is all about. But here is a UNO with a little bit of a twist and more towards learning. I'll now walk you through what are all the type of cards that you would encounter in this kind of UNO game. Let me just first walk you through the types of cards. Like in a UNO card game, you have numbered and colored cards. For example, you have my maroon 6, you have a blue color 6 that I am showing. But if you notice the card that I have in my hand, it reads, change it, fixed to growth mindset. And there is a statement here, I always get in trouble. So in certain type of cards, there is a statement given and the challenge is to change the wordings from fixed to growth mindset. So just as an illustration, I will try to uh, show what this is about. I always get in trouble is an example of a fixed mindset that I cannot uh, uh, improve myself. But to make it a growth mindset, the wording could be, I do get into trouble, but I with every trouble, I will learn to navigate and improve myself so that I am able to handle the challenges successfully. So that is an example of a growth mindset. Now not only should we reword it, we should apply it in a context of a professional setting like a corporate or a, any other professional setting. So towards that each of the colleagues, uh, each of us as we play the game will demonstrate you examples uh, as to how these statements can be applicable in a corporate setting. So similarly, there is another type of card called the true or false card. Another card which is uh, fill in the statement. So whatever be the kind of card you get, these are all trigger or statements that make us think and apply the growth mindset in various different situations. Now let me explain the action cards. This is another set of cards that are actually made to make the game fun. So for example, this is an example of a go again card. A person who gets this card gets one more chance, which means naturally they get to discard one more card and their probability of uh, winning increases. Now rotate left and rotate right are two fun cards. At different stages of the game, People might be having, let's say, for example, one person has three cards, one person has five cards, another person probably has only one card. 
Now suddenly, if somebody drops this rotate left or rotate right, the fortunes of all the people playing the game completely change. The person who was heading towards victory suddenly might getting, be getting more cards because rotate right means you have to hand over all the cards to the person in the right side of the uh, sitting right side of you. And rotate left is similarly to the left side of you. So these are uh, cards that change the fortune. And uh, there are two more type of cards. One is called free. The player gets an opportunity to change the color of the discard pile. For example, let's say somebody is having a lot of green cards, but the ongoing pile is maroon. By having this card, the person gets to change the color and declare it as maroon. This is a card that influences their winning. So hopefully you got a simple explanation of all the type of cards that are possible. So as we play the game, please do follow us and uh, we'll have a lot of fun and learning. Thank you. So shall we get started with the game? Yes. Yep. Yes. Great. Looking forward. So let me go about distributing the cards. Each of us gets six cards and uh, we'll get started with that. Okay, great. So we'll have some opening card, and uh, based on that, Professor Shiva, you want to get started? Hmm. So we can either match the violet color or the number six. Who put that card? It's an opening card. Opening card. Whose turn is this? No, so, Professor Shivai. So, uh, I have a, a pink card, violet card, uh, number 3, but the color is the same. So, I am now putting it. I am going to read this out. When I am faced with a big problem, I often feel. So, I need to fill that blank. So, when I uh, am faced with a big problem, I often feel, wow, there is a, a challenge out there for me to solve. Is there an example, uh, recent example that you can quote for the benefit of? So recently we had one uh, big problem that came up. We, we could not get certain uh, uh, email IDs for uh, uh, one of the courses. Then there was a suggestion saying that uh, why not we share among ourselves. So that one single uh, shift in thinking was enough to solve the uh, problem that we faced. Thank you. Okay, so I have to put something e either, either that matches uh, the number three, three or the or the color. Color. Uh, well, there's nothing that matches the number three, and the only card that has the same color is rotate left. Okay, great. So come here, rotate left. Rotate left. Sir, please take. Okay. Yeah, you, you, take left. you have to pass left. on our cards you to the left this. hand side. No, no, you. you, you. So everybody does that. Everybody does that. Uh oh. And you got one less now. So it's my chance now. Uh, you, have, you have to put the rotate left. Okay. okay. So I'm going to execute an action card called Free Spy. Free Spy allows me to spy any one player by peeking at their cards and choosing a new color for the discard pile. This is a way by which, uh, let's say, Colonel is the next person ahead of me. So I get to spy his cards and I try to choose a color that he doesn't have. That's the main goal of it. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to choose maroon. So maroon color is what I'm going to choose. So you need to start putting a card which is maroon in color. <laughs> And if I don't have a rule, you have to take it from the draw pile. Is that a maroon card? 
<laughs> so you also get it. You played a trick on me and now I am giving it back to you. This is a free card. I change back to whatever is this color which was there before we began. Okay. So this card reads, one step I can take to get closer to my hopes and dreams is dash. It's not that I sleep more, uh, but I can certainly reduce the number of hours that I am sleeping in order to get closer to my hopes and dreams, uh, thereby increasing my working hours, meaning get to read a few more things that will help me professionally. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I I have a violet card because violet card has to be thrown. So, in the violet card it reads, I would like to learn more about. I really would like to learn about uh, those systems which are able to write, art artificial intelligence systems which are able to write papers th by themselves. So, one job less for me. I can I can give that work to the AI system. So I would like to know more about it. Okay, <clears throat> neither the number nor the color. color is matching. So what do I do, Karthik? You need to take one card from the <laughs> draw pile, and if that matches, maybe you just so. Okay, the number is matching. It's true or false. Uh, your brain grows, changes and get smarter the more you challenge yourself. True or false? I think this is true and uh, I have experienced this personally and have seen this in other people also that the more we challenge ourselves, uh, the brain starts making, you know, starts working smarter and starts making greater connections and the, and the learning actually deepens. So when we started the recording for the strategies for professional growth, uh, many of these things uh, were new and uh, it was quite a challenge uh, preparing oneself for the recordings, uh, you know, preparing the content and then even facing the camera. And uh, we have discovered over this period of time and personally I have discovered that was a lot of learning involved uh, and it has, uh, you know, how to uh, how to face the camera, what to do, what not to do, the do's and don'ts of the whole process. And uh, though it has been a big challenge in the beginning, we are, I'm learning constantly and improving constantly. And I, it's been a great, wonderful, uh, not just a learning experience, but a very enjoyable and fun experience because we have an excellent support team here. Uh, so that's what I want to say. Thank you. So that is maroon color one and uh, I have a maroon colored card. So the card reads, uh, please state whether this is true or false. Some people are just born lucky and always seem to get everything right on the first try. Uh, while this may seem true, a lot of things, uh, the, 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 the lot of efforts and persistence are not uh, visible to us. I used to think this way until I realized the amount of persistence, the effort, the uh, rejections, the enthusiasm that goes into uh, making something right. Practice makes a person perfect and a lot of times the practice is hidden. In my own case, uh, there were times where I used to give up easily. And uh, there have been times where I have persisted a lot and uh, gotten lucky because of that. L lucky or probably gotten successful because of that persistence. A case I'm able to recollect uh, about two years back was uh, when my course uh, got started, uh, the Play to Learn course. Uh, we had all the people design board and card games and suddenly the pandemic stuck. The entire curriculum had to be revamped and all I had was uh, just a two-month window during the summer. 
and uh, i also did not want the uh, efforts of the students who had designed the games to go waste so during those 2 3 months i had to brainstorm figure out ways by which if not fully a part of work done by the students could be digitized using available digital platforms so it was not luck in that case it was persistence and uh, alternate thinking and uh, while i wouldn't say i got it right on the first try but with that few weeks of effort we were able to set it right for the next semester okay so i don't have uh, maroon with me let me pick one from here i got lucky i have maroon and uh, the i have to mention whether the statement here is true or false the statement is it's not always easy to have a growth mindset <laughs> totally false <laughs> it is very easy to have a growth mindset all that is required is to look around and uh, realize who stands where and what kind of a person stands where you will realize that uh, those who work hard there is a saying somebody said one of the great poets he said something to this effect people who are on the top they haven't gone by flight there they haven't gone by flight there and reached just like that it is because when the world slept these people were these people were working and climbing the stairs slowly and therefore uh, growth mindset is all about your own thinking and your own environment in which you are living and try to adopt so that you reach your one step above from wherever you are on the ladder of success thank you so i do have a maroon color so i'm going to put this color this is a true or false uh, card it says ignoring a problem or challenge will make it go away how will it go away right so uh, one example that comes to my mind is uh, colonel knows so uh, i used to avoid uh, any opportunity that comes my way in terms of giving a public talk or at least come going to a public uh, event now by ignoring it i couldn't solve the problem because when i ignored one of them the next one would follow immediately right so that's when i understood if i had taken up the challenge i would have probably made a better specimen of myself a version of myself that i could talk well in public right and therefore it is it is definitely falls saying that ignoring a project problem or a uh, challenge will make it go away okay i have a maroon card it's a true or false card and it says you believe you can do hard things and i would say it's true it is true for me because i do believe i can do hard things uh, i mean I, hard things i assume is challenges right yeah so uh, when i do face a challenge or a hard uh, uh, you know uh, a hard thing the first thing i ask myself is uh, what can i do about this or what is it that i'm going to learn through this process and then what is the first step that i can take uh, given the resources that i have and it could be just my own potential or it could be the resources you know the outer resources that are uh, that i have and that gets me started so once you take the first step uh, it's it's a matter of just taking that step one step at a time and then uh, moving towards your goal 
Good. So I have a matching color, uh, matching number card. I have a matching number card which is uh, in the blue color. It says uh, validate the statement as fixed mindset or growth mindset. Forget it. I always mess things up. Well, an example comes to my mind. Uh, I don't keep my folders organized in my PC sometimes, many a times. And that has uh, always made me uh, search things frantically in the last minute. Uh, there is another example of where I uh, also believe that finance and taxes, I always mess things up. Over the last one or two years, I have started getting better at it in terms of putting effort to organize both my folders and also watching out for tax payments uh, in terms of tax planning. While I haven't mastered it, at least I'm in the right direction and in a better position than what I was about two years back. I do make mistakes, but I also try to learn from those mistakes rather than uh, just sticking with the statement that this is not for me or I mess things up. Sure. You change the card. <laughs> so it is the same color card that I have in my hands now. Uh, and my task is to change the statement that's on this card from fixed to growth mindset statement. The statement is, I am not going to try out for the play. I am not going to try out for the play because I know I will forget the lines. This is certainly a fixed mindset. I would uh, probably say the statement should be, you see, just because I know I will forget the lines, just because I know I will forget the lines, I shouldn't stop and not take part. I know I will forget the lines, therefore I must take part in the play so that I improve, I grow, I, I learn to face the audience, I learn to deliver my dialogues and whatever happens on the play. And I am sure the prompters on both sides of the stage will help me out in delivering the dialogue, the lines that I forget. So I have a blue card, it's number three. It says, it asks fixed mindset or growth mindset. The statement is, I will never have any friends. I will never have any friends. The very fact that there is this never means it's a fixed mindset, right? So you may not have friends right now. But when you uh, um, uh, make an attempt, right, and then go talk to people, uh, find out about themselves, listen to them, then it is possible for you to have friends. And therefore, to shift from saying, I'll never have any friends, you can shift the statement to, I will find friends. I have a blue card. And uh, it has a statement and it asks whether it's a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. So the statement is, I'm afraid I might mess up, but I'm going to try anyway. I think this is a growth mindset, uh, though I would reframe the sentence uh, differently, uh, uh, which, which would be basically that I'm going to explore and find out how I can do this, or whatever that is. And uh, like I, uh, spoke about in the module, uh, I used to have a fixed mindset where I never used to try anything because I was too afraid to mess up. And uh, once that shifted, uh, once I realized that I was getting nowhere because of that, uh, 
then this was a new statement I would tell myself that even though I know I might mess up, it's it's worth probably giving it a try and seeing where it leads to and what I'm going to learn in the process. Right. So as I look at it, uh, I don't have the color blue nor the number eight. So I have to draw from the draw pile. And uh, even this card doesn't match the number or color. So I'll have to let it pass to color. So what Karthik did to me, I am going to do it to the professor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's rotate left. Uh -oh. <laughs> I drop this here? Yeah. Sir. Wow, you have only three cards. Do you want it back? Okay, I don't have blue color or rotate left card. So I'm going to take one card here. Let's see if it is a magic card. Ah, it says go again. Okay, so I do not have a blue card or a rotate left card, but I do have a rotate right with maroon. Does it help? No. Not in this case. Okay. Pick up one. Please. Pick up one. Please pick up one. Ah, the magic card has been taken. Okay. So I have a blue card which says go again. Player gets to go again, gaining an additional turn. So what's that? No, if you have, an no, if you have card, another thing. And then another card, you can play it. Or you can keep it. You can keep it. No, no, no. For now, you keep it. For now, you keep it. Okay. So, the only blue color card I have. Oh, so, now for some fun. The only blue color card I have will uh, make Colonel take three, three more cards. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Take three. You were a good friend of mine all this while. I yeah? still am. <laughs> oh, no, I'm now afraid because I did the rotate left. So, I have to pick up three. Yeah. yeah. This is the luckiest Two. card. This is the lucky three that I have picked up. Three. Yeah, this is the best. So I can say, can you sit quietly? You can yeah. play. You can play uh, a blue color card if you have. Yeah, yeah, I have a blue card with me. Our number? No, no, there's no number. No, I have a blue card with me. No, take three. Okay, no, I'm just trying to check what statement should I make. Or if right. you have to uh, take three of a different color, you can no, pass no, already. I have enough. <laughs> You've already given me enough trouble. <laughs> the, the card that I have with me is of the same color and uh, I have to give my opinion on the statement whether it is whether it pertains to fixed mindset or growth mindset. The statement is, I can. So that's good enough. It is a fixed mindset. Uh, correction, it's a growth mindset. I can do tough things. Yes, certainly I can do tough things. If there is something that uh, I am wavering about, Probably a little bit of practice and guidance will help me do the tough thing. See, uh, there's something about this. I can do tough things that uh, I am reminded of. I uh, was, we were all young officers in, the, in my batch, in my course in the armed forces. And uh, Year 84, place Devlali in Maharashtra. And while I was undergoing this young officer's course, I was nominated for a commando course immediately after the Vyos, that is young officers. And commando by itself is something which uh, people are scared of. And uh, people, uh, especially my roommate, used to be joking around and laughing at me, saying that, Jay, yeah, you are going to go, you will become a commando. 
you will have to jump from the 50 feet height and fall into the water. Just see that you don't drift away in air and fall on land and things like that. In the last week of the Vios, this fellow, my, my roommate, was also nominated for the same course. So we both of us landed there. There are uh, a lot of challenges. We get up at Get up is something, if we sleep only, we will get up. There are times we don't sleep, we don't sleep at all. So, anyway, of all the uh, things that we do in the name of training for commando, one thing is 40 kilometer speed march or speed run, if you can run, with about 30, 35 odd kgs on your back load on you. And this happens, uh, it's a 30, 35 days course and every week we have to run, begin with 10 kilometer, next week 20, then 30, final is 40 kilometer. This was a little tough. People thought, oh my god, 40 kilometer. Uh, but as I said, the first two words itself, I can, uh, gives that. In any case, when you are in, you are in. And uh, and all that we did was the stamina, the, the mental agility to sustain the, the pressure here, the physical strain that we had to withstand, all these things kept improving every day. It kept improving every day. Those 33 uh, days makes your body fit, your nerves become like it is of steel. And this 40 kilometer march, my friend who was in the roommate, who used to be laughing at me, we both together with the help of each other and with a little bit of that steadfastness in thought, completed 40 kilometer and we completed it in a very good time. People crawl in the fag end of 100 meters, they roll because you can do anything but you have to reach the 40th milestone. But we didn't crawl or we didn't roll, we, we were there jogging, walking and reported Commando Karya Purtika report Deta Hai Srimar. That's how it is. We can do tough things. Thank you. It's a great example. Yes. So I don't have uh, blue or number two, so I'm going to take a card. Okay, and I pass the turn to the next. I do have a blue card. It says go again. It's green and... Uh, that's it. That's it. I don't have a blue color card, nor uh, I have a go again card, so I'll draw from the draw pile. Well, I happen to get a blue color card. It says change it, change the statement from fixed to growth mindset. I'm terrible at organizing. So this is naturally the words, uh, negative word called terrible means it's naturally an example of a fixed mindset. A way to change it to growth mindset would be I'm not good at organizing right now, but I will find ways to improve myself. I can get better by practice. That can be an example of uh, a growth mindset. An example that comes to my mind is uh, about a decade back, I was working in a company which where I had about 20, 25 uh, team members. And I was not uh, comfortable uh, to have teams beyond that size. But when I shifted to a large IT services company, suddenly I had to manage uh, team sizes of about uh, 300, 400. Of course, I had managers reporting into me, but still the number was like too scary to deal with. I was initially afraid to even send mails to many people uh, because I was not used to that. 
and i was also not comfortable with organizing and talking in front of uh, uh, such a large audience as a part of team meeting or town halls but gradually over a period of time i realized that that is the norm in the new company and uh, i can do it with practice so i started doing it and i got comfortable with it over a period of time so here i have a blue card and i am supposed to be checking whether the statement is of a fixed mindset or growth mindset the statement is i am not going to play the game i am not so happy with this not here anyway it reads i am not going to play the game because i always lose so oh. <laughs> probably this is the very reason you should be playing the game so that if you lose 10 times the 11th time you will win you are you uh, whoever has written this may not be knowing that for every one successful person there could be thousands or more than thousands of people who have not been successful and therefore uh, i think once a loser is not always a loser and uh, losing is learning and every time you lose you learn something and probably don't adopt that methodology use some other tactic strategy i am sure you will win Colonel, is there a word called lose? I thought only learn is there. It is learning. Excellent. You asked a nice query, sir. Losing is here. I think it's all on top. You are losing at the thought level first, and then you typically withdraw. Withdraw from going up on the stage and speaking in front of the audience. Withdraw from taking an initiative. taking the, upon taking a responsibility in any project that comes your way uh, i think you are right it's not uh, losing so it is just learning it's an opportunity to learn thank you i have five cards 1 2 3 4 5 cards okay. i have four cards i have two cards 1 2 and i have four cards 1 2 3 4 and i am happy i completed the game now i'll change the rule of the game uh, whoever has the maximum number of cards <laughs> is the winner <laughs> whoever has number 10 is the winner <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you so with that we conclude this game uh we had lots of fun hope you enjoyed it too as you could have seen uh each of those cards were trigger cards that helped us recollect instances in our lives where we applied the growth growth mindset we all encounter different kinds of obstacles mind blocks and uh, this is a great way to trigger our thoughts towards applying the growth mindset thank you